I am Patrick Sweeney from Odin. I'm back again today with RFID, Firearms, and Fun. Our video blog on weapons tracking a few weeks ago was so popular, it generated quite a few questions to Odin's Ask the Expert. One of the biggest questions we got was RFID accurate, usable, and easy to adopt to long guns? And in fact, the answer is yes. We've tagged this AR-15, and, and the nice thing about the new RFID technology is all the environmental factors associated with, with this, heat, humidity, temperature changes, vibration, all have been addressed by the tags that we chose to tag this AR-15 with. This one happens to be a Lightner Wise AR-15. They're a US-based company making great inroads in municipalities and also within the Marine Corps specifically. But it's typical of other firearms, other long guns out there in terms of the ability to put a passive RFID tag on there. Passive RFID tags have changed pretty dramatically just over the past year. Even a year ago, there were only about a dozen tags in production. Now, these dozen tags or so had all sorts of different size and form factor. Now, as you can see from this board today, we've got form factors like these two tags right here, which are literally smaller than the size of my fingernail. These small tags have much better chip technology. They've got third generation integrated circuits on them, so the read sensitivity is significantly higher. With passive RFID, one thing that's critically important to remember is there's no power source on these tags. There's no battery supply, and in fact the tags have an indefinite lifetime because they're not going to run out of battery. The other key thing is, the reason the DoD has standardized on these is they're much more secure than a tag that's beaconing out information. The only information on a passive RFID done with the Odin system is basically a license plate number. So that license plate points to specific information in a database. But if you don't have access to that database, if it's secured the way it should be, no one will ever know what that information is on that license plate. So these are some of the new passive RFID technologies. The old ones used to be this size, very big, but now you can see they've got them small, very easy to put inside a weapon. And in fact, someone else asked, well, does this only apply to the six hour that I was using in the last last video blog? And the answer is no. In fact, here's a Glock 19 that we've tagged for a municipality, a, a police department within the Midwest that was going after their CALEA accreditation. We were very successful in tagging these both in the holster and also inside a case using passive RFID technology. So if you're looking at weapons tracking for your police department, especially if you're looking for an easier way to do your CALEA accreditation, RFID, passive RFID, and Odin's weapons tracking solution is a great way to go. If you have any more questions, stop by odintechnologies.com, that's O-D-I-N, and ask the expert. It's free, and you can get the information from the best engineers in the industry. I'm Patrick Sweeney. Thanks for stopping by.